Hi everyone, welcome back to Boots and Roots. Today we have our cousin Christian here, and he's gonna help us. <laughs> Rubber baby buggy buggy. Hi everyone, welcome back to Boots and Roots. Today we have our cousin Chris here with us. He's gonna be helping us. Uh, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. My mom made me squish my M and M's. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Boots and Roots. Today we have our cousin Christian here with us. And he's gonna help us start. <laughs> he's gonna help us start. So Hi everyone, welcome back to Boots and Roots. Today we have our cousin Christian here. He's gonna be helping us start some seeds for the garden. Um, Chris was over earlier today and we stopped by a local nursery and greenhouse to pick up some soil, pick up some little seed starting trays. Um, but then we actually also came home with a Meyer lemon tree and a Chicago hardy fig tree as well. Um, so Chris, do you wanna tell us a little bit about what we're doing today? Yeah, so we're going to be starting some seeds, and as we are in Zone 6A, we have to do quite a bit of prep for things like peppers, tomatoes, eggplant, and a number of other things that we'll be starting today. We also came back with some very interesting plants, including a lemon tree and a fig tree. Uh, we picked these varieties as they're more cold hardy, although they do require some indoor time to grow. So in case you're interested in growing either of these, um, a Chicago hardy is a better pick in Zone 6A, and uh, Meyer lemon. All okay. right, let's go start some seeds. We have here purple sweet potatoes. And we're just gonna just cover dirt. dirt. Um, we'll be mostly covered so you'll see a little bit of them what's going to happen is you see these small sprouts here they're called slips so they're going to grow and then by the time they're like green you'll cut them make sure you get a little bit of root with the green part of the slip and uh, you'll put them in your seed starters and then you'll get a ton of them So the slips are basically uh, sprouts out of the sweet potato, uh, and then there's uh, roots that come come through at the base of it. You cut off the um, slip, and uh, then you can plant those slips. You'll get you can get hundreds off of a single potato. We're starting this tray off um, with tomatoes, and we decided to go with a small like cherry grape kind of sweet tomato. Um, so we're going to do a row of that. We have an heirloom rainbow mix, so more of like a slicing tomato for like sandwiches. Um, and then we're also going to do a San Marzano tomato. Um, the goal with this is to can um, our own tomato sauce for like pasta. Two in each little thing. Yeah, because um, you're going to find some seedlings that are going to be weaker than others, and then it's okay. going to take up space. So what I up. like really kind of struggle with is like when one's like weaker, like when it actually like germinates and whatever, like how you get rid of one, like you literally just separate it. If you feel like they're sort of competing and they're both strong, mm -hmm. you can um, just try pop, transplanting right? it. And if it truly is strong, it will hold its own, and if it doesn't, it will die. So, mm -hmm. uh, because we're working with heirloom varieties, we gotta have a, we have to let natural selection take its course to maintain the 
genetic integrity of the, the seeds so that they continue to produce uh, strong plants. So for the varieties that we have here uh, for seeds, we're looking mainly at heirloom varieties. Uh, the reason why uh, heirloom varieties are sort of our preference here is because of uh, open, the open pollinated nature of it. Uh, generally, heirloom varieties have uh, quite a bit of genetic diversity. Uh, they will, uh, you can keep seeds from generation to generation, and as long as you're selecting well, you'll get relatively similar plants uh, between the generations. They don't always have, say, um, you're not always getting the perfectest, juiciest fruit every single time, but um, because of this practice, you are getting something that is pretty consistent from generation to generation. Uh, that is in contrast to, say, a hybrid variety, where it's um, more recently sort of genetically selected uh, for the best traits. Only that generation is really going to give you exactly what you're looking for, but uh, we're focusing on open pollinated and heirloom varieties because of the ability to keep things consistent from uh, generation. It's going to depend on our care of the plant so and the genetics of that individual <clears throat> seed it just depends too so we're going two per square because um we don't know if they'll all sprout generally when you buy seeds for that year typically and it depends on the the kind of plant that you're planting but um you're usually looking between a 70 and 90 percent germination rate but because the germination rates aren't 100 percent we plant multiple seeds uh just to guarantee that we'll get something uh out of this so that you're not waiting for weeks and uh, finding nothing there peppers are um, pretty sensitive to watering, so for anyone out there who is planning to plant peppers, usually water them on the um, dry side at first, just to make sure it's not overwatering them. The peppers, the tomatoes, uh, the cucumbers, they usually require uh, some form of heat to germinate. So we're gonna do three different types of peppers this year. So we have a red bell pepper, we have a jalapeno pepper, and then we have a sweet red Italian pepper. So for cucumbers, um, this year we're gonna do a little leaf cucumber, which is a pickling cucumber. Um, and then we have this uh, market more cucumber, which is just a kind of regular cucumber used for like salads. All right, so our next little starter over here is going to be all of our herbs. And we wanted to stick with things that we, you know, more frequently cook with. Um, so we're gonna go with basil, oregano, cilantro, and parsley. Uh, our last frost date is April 17th. So, uh, none of these plants will be outside anytime soon. Um, that's why we're starting them indoors, so that they'll have a good long season when they go outside. Um, so, oregano seeds and other sort of small, like very tiny, sand-like seeds. You grow them on the, on the surface, um, because with a seed that small, sometimes no, the seed doesn't have enough energy to um, to make it through the go, soil. Go far in the soil. Uh, think of seeds as like little eggs. They have enough energy to produce their first set of leaves and their first set of roots. Um, after that point, they have to start pulling energy from the soil and the air around it and the sun. So. Um, Different seeds 
have different needs. Okay. <laughs> love like, that. I like, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so like, much. I'm surprised that you know, <laughs> I'm surprised myself with that. <laughs> different seeds got different needs. Oh my gosh, we're going to like quote that yes. and tag you. <laughs> Do you like Roma tomatoes? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, I have like two seeds left. One seed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can make more out of that one yeah. seed, right? If it Try sprouts. It. Try it. Yeah. yeah. Like Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want to try the um the the Portuguese kale? Oh, Portuguese kale? Yeah, we can try Portuguese kale. Yeah, that'd be cool. Alright, so our last uh little starter over here, we're going to do eggplant, broccoli. Kale, and then we have a Portuguese kale that we're going to try out as well. Apparently, brassicas are all going to be the same, like broccoli. Uh, broccoli is a uh, quarter of an inch. Brassicas are all kind of in the same family, so that's like your broccoli, your kale, kohlrabi, uh, cabbage, and. Do you have rabi? I don't have any. There's yeah, a lot, lot of really probably. interesting varieties out there. Wait, yeah. we should see if we can order it for like next day delivery. Well, I think we'll be okay if it's like a few days, Derek. <laughs> it's not <laughs> a big deal. deal. Yeah, try it. <laughs> oh, <whatever. laughs> oh my god, urgent, overnight it. Well, I know how much you love your Robbie, so. I do love my Robbie. So in this last um, little starter over here, we're just gonna kind of do a mix of onions in this one. Um, so the seeds that we have are a yellow Spanish sweet onion, um, a Gladstone onion, just like a regular white onion. And then this is a um, red onion as well. So we're just going to fill up the um, starter thing here and just kind of sprinkle them all around. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna be putting these underneath an LED light for at least four to six weeks. Then we're gonna be putting them outside. Hope you guys can watch that video. Drop us a comment down below. Let us know where you guys are planting. We would love to hear from you. And we hope to see you again on Boots and Roots. <laughs> you were in quiet too. And then, I think help and then you're gonna say, to let's go say, start some right, seeds. Let's we'll start some seeds. There you go, literally just like that. Have fun with it. And like, don't even. I and it get will... too awkward like that. But you're talking right now. <laughs> yeah. He starts okay. some seeds, and he's gonna help us with some seed starting. I think. Can I try that? Wait, okay. Oh, try standing here. Switch spots. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's gonna help. <laughs> I think it's gonna help. <laughs> Something's gonna help us.